Hello. This video is going to be rated PG-13. Bad words, bad language, bad boys. So, if you are under the age of 13, I will give you roughly eight seconds to click off. This, boys and girls, is the letter F. F makes the F sound. Say it with me. Now that the children are gone. Hello, I'm Jacob, and today we are unboxing a box. This is a Fallout Loot Crate that I ordered, and I'm very excited because I like that video game a lot. And I like objects that intertwine with the video game itself. So, we are going to start with... Uh, oh, there's this thing behind me. Didn't even notice it there. I guess I'll have to explain what it is. So, I have my own predictions, right? And I'm going to tell you those in a second before I get to these bad boys. But I wanted to see what y'all thought the whole uh, box would be full of. I wrote them down, stuck them on the wall, and for anyone who gets it right, you get right there on the winner column. So let's get started. So my predictions are as follows. So there's going to be two pins, right? That's what they said. One of them's gonna be really ugly, and I don't know about the other one. That one's gonna be a hit or miss. There's going to be a bobblehead, right? We're gonna get a bobblehead. We're also going to get a Vault 13 item, it said. I think it's gonna be a water flask, so I can sip ski my water so I don't have to use this yellow cup anymore. There's also going to be an accessory. That's the thing I'm most scared about because an accessory can mean anything from bags to shirts to sweatbands to all this stuff that I don't want. Now that we got my ideas out of the way, Let's hear yours. So the first one comes from at Taint Dankins, a horny Skyrim helmet with a little wink on there. I like the wink. Nice touch. Our next one is from at BB.King, a Blu-ray copy of Family Guy season 13. You know, I wouldn't be really happy with that because that would be my third copy of it. So Garcia Palencia 2 says an S-word doll. Now, I'm censoring the words for any of the children who decided to not click off. You guys ruined it, okay? Okay. <laughs> you little... The next one is from the beautiful and talented Rye Bread Sandwich said a spoopy muffin. If there's a muffin in this box, I will eat it in one bite on this video. Our next one is at Occasionally Chloe, a notch in your bed post. Our next one is from Shosh Shoshana Z, Lucky Charms, and then the emojis were a rainbow, star, heart, clover, and balloon, kind of like the theme song. Heart, stars, and clovers, and blue moon. At first I was like, those are some random emojis, but then I realized the genius behind them. Well done, Shoshana. Our next one is Nate Ike. This one I feel might actually show up. Poop. Our next suggestion is Adam Ike's suggestion, Fallout trademarked merchandise. That's kind of ridiculous, Adam. I, I know that we're kind of having fun here, but I don't think this is appropriate for our stream here, okay? Our next suggestion is from another one from BB King, a VHS tape of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. My friend Blake really likes their uh, copies of films. I'll keep that in mind next time, Blake. I winked twice today. That's fun. So you may be wondering what this bad boy is about. My friend Justin decided to give us a whole array. The first one is a child. Yeah, yeah, if there's a child in there, I will raise it. Your giant horse C-word. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. The Souls of the Departed. Next one is exactly 37 Frozen Peas. 
I would be impressed if they were still frozen. And if there's exactly 37, because I know those mail workers. <laughs> they don't get their lunch break very often, so they have to eat on the job. <clears throat> the next one is Mike Pence's A Word after a week in prison. In the middle of a gunfight, in the center of a restaurant, they say, come with your... Every single nocturnal emission you and your twin have ever had, that's disgusting. And I don't know why you had to bring my brother into the equation with that, because that just means it's all mixed around. If you don't know what nocturnal emission is, don't Google it. Did I give you enough time to Google it? Cool. Okay. A pack of tampons disguised as a box of bandages. If anyone does want one, if there's one in the box, you guys can have it. A deceased fetal seahorse, your J-word sock, hole picks, and I quote, like pictures of a literal human A-word. <sighs> Thank you, Justin, for those lovely guesses. Our final guess is from my lovely sister, Emma, who came up with the only actual response a t-shirt don't you just love how normal that is it's almost as if that's what i wanted in the first place let's get to the unboxing shall we a little shake fest let's hope for the best i haven't seen this i haven't looked inside of this box this is my first time. Let's open it up, shall we? I'm gonna take the first look because I bought it. If you guys buy the next one, I'll let you guys take the first look. It's a little difficult to open. Ugh. I saw the I saw the the accessory, and I'm not upset. I'll just show it to you guys. So the accessory, a Brotherhood of Steel hat. It's kind of cute. It's green, my favorite color. So, I mean, if anyone guessed hat, no, nobody guessed hat. It looks and feels like good quality. It's a hat, so you can't really mess that one up. Oh, look at this, a pin. Oh, I, oh. So they did the two pins in one pin backing. I love that, so. These are Vault Tech pins, you know, the company. This is kind of cute. I love the Vault Tech Industries pin. It's simple. It's not like annoying. It's not ugly. And also the Prepare for the Future pin. I was so scared one of these pins were going to be hideous. But these look really pleasant, you know? A plus. The next one, I hope this isn't an object. Oh, man. So, I'm a little disappointed. One of the five objects are stickers. So, great. Thanks. There's one more thing, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It's already open. So, we'll see what happens. But this is the Vault 13 thing. Interesting. Let's just see what's inside. It's not the flask I know now, but it could be cool. It's a bobblehead. I knew there was going to be a bobblehead in here. It's a Vault 13. It's just a Vault 13 Vault Boy bobblehead. You know what? I'm not upset at that. I do wish that the Vault 13 water flask was a thing, but this is kind of cute. Look at that. It's just, it says it has the 13 on the back. It's from the first two games. <sighs> it's pretty stellar. I am very happy with uh, my purchase. It was a little different than I thought. I'm, I, it could have been better. I am just, oh no, you guys fell down. only thing I'm disappointed about is this. I don't have a hydro flask. I don't have a sticker book. 
I'm going to put this somewhere and forget about it. It's not useful. It's not cool. They're stickers. They have one use to stick on something and get thrown away when they get worn off. I'm not very happy about this, Bethesda. Not happy at all. But, that being said, the pins are cute. I liked the pins. The hat was pretty cool. I like the hat. The bobblehead, pretty standard bobblehead, you know? There's not, there's not much you can mess up with this. There is one thing you can mess up. I'm opening it. Should I open it? I'm gonna open it. Okay, so out of the container. Oh! Thank goodness, it bobbles. Did you guys like how I just decreased the value of it by 20 fold? for that little bit. You're welcome. Mmm. And they made the packaging unclosable, so I can't I can't fake it either. Oh well. Guess it's mine forever. There was no giant horse seaward. There was no f poop. No S word dolls, no T shirts. There was one winner, though. Fallout merchandise. Right in this little box. I just... I was looking forward for that water flask, you know? It's all over. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you when I see you.